Amen, amen, amen. God's grace and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. This is 2 o'clock in Eastern Standard Time. And it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, uh, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. And we are, we are so, so glad, so glad, so glad to do it. We are so glad to come on this afternoon. We hope that you all are ready to hear a wonderful program from your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on Chatting from the Word. We hope everyone had a good morning. You had a beautiful breakfast. And we hope everyone is having a good afternoon. You had a nice lunch. And now you're ready to receive some spiritual food from the Word of God on chatting from the Word. Amen, amen, amen. We are so delighted to uh, be with you. We are so blessed to bring you this program at this time. And we are ready to bless you with some spiritual uh, music and along with a beautiful, a beautiful lesson. We hear that my Miss Berger go, hey, yo, we are doing great. It looked like I, I'm looking outside my windows, my friends, and it's a little breezy out there, and the sun is out. It's, it looks like a beautiful day. The weather, people says, is 51 degrees, sunny, and 0% chance of rain. But you know what, Brother Oscar, feel we got this. What's going on on the outside? It can be really ugly on the outside, my friends. But as long as you have the Son of God, you have sunny days, 24, 7, 7 days a week. Because you have the Son of God. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We have a beautiful program on tap for you today. Our f- first selection would be a cappella, Abba Father. And after a prayer time would be Frank Melton the uh, Third. You brought me. Uh, you brought me. <laughs> me get it right. <laughs> you brought me. And our message again, warring a warfare of the mind. Coming from Romans 7, 11 through 20. So when we get to that point of the program, have your Bibles out so that you can study along with your brother here, Brother Oscar York. So my friends, just get relaxed. Go have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, soda, uh, soda water, soda pop. (laughs) Whatever it may be, just relax. Go ahead on and have a seat in your reclining chair and recline on out. Uh, Go ahead on and sit on your couch and just stretch on out. You're at home anyway, so just uh, just stretch out on the floor while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar. And if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road, but keep on listening to your brother Oscar York. Now, if you're... Uh, I believe they say your gym might be open today, but be in the gym or, or jogging or getting some exercise, trying to lose weight or be pup, buffed, <laughs> pup, buffed. Go ahead on and keep your earbuds so I'll put them on and keep on listening to your brother Oscar, your brother here, brother Oscar York on chatting from the word. Amen, amen, amen. All right, all right, all right. We would be right back. After these messages. All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back. And as promised, our first selection will be a cappella, Abba, Abba, 
Pooh. Abba, Father. And here we go with Abba, Father. We just need to call on the Father, especially with what's going on in the world today with the coronaviruses and and uh, the, the, the government do not know what to do. They are so confused about uh, finding a cure or opening uh, this nation back up, uh, worrying about the economy, the ec- economics, <laughs> the economy of the world. And, and if it's going to go down or make it through this coronavirus. So we, we need to uh, call on the Father at this time and allow Him to, 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 to know what we're going through and allow Him to know 
that this world in which we live stands in the need of his unchanging hands. Let me remind our listener that they are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, on your speaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Thank you, thank you. We are so glad to do it. We are so glad to do it. We hope you've been enjoying the program up to this point, and we hope that we are putting a snap in your uh, Christian walk. Now, it is time for our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And that is, again, my uh, email address is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. And uh, if you have a prayer request, also message it to me through Messenger. At this time, I don't know if the chat room is functioning uh, correctly, and uh, I don't know if we have you all are listening to us live, but you can always let Brother Oscar know if you have a prayer request and that uh, you want us to pray for you here on the air. You know, for a couple of months now, we've been praying for those who have contracted the coronavirus and those that have lost loved ones uh, with uh, the virus. And we, we just need to pray. For the condition of the world today. And allow the Lord to, to intervene and to allow his hands to touch everyone that this uh, dreadful disease has, uh, has touched, you know. But I was saying the other day, and I hear other people talking about it, and some people say, no, it's not God. Uh, God's will or not God allotted will or whatever it may be. But you know what? I believe God allowed things to happen to either get our attention or get us, uh, get a message to us. Let us know that if we're not in his body, if we haven't came to him, we need to come to him. I believe that's the message to all of this uh, because the world itself is so uh, I mean, we 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 so um, confused. And I believe that's the best uh, word that Brother Oscar can use at this time. You 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 look uh, politically. You you look at the Democrat Party. You look at the Republican Party. They are uh, not uh, saying the same thing. Some say I believe in this, and some say I believe in that. And, and, and sometimes it's just a a confused place to be in this world today. So we, we need to pray uh, for the condition of this world. That's the reason why Brother Oscar is so glad to bring you this program today, just to take your mind off of uh, what's going on in the political world and all that and what's going on around the world. Is, is this world, we, we got to remember that this world is not our home. We are just uh, passing through it. Our scripture that we want to read before we approach the throne of grace is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 7 and verse 18. Here Paul said, Pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Let us pray. Our heavenly Father, Our Father who sits high and looks low. Oh, Father, we call upon you at this time. Oh, Father, we call upon you at this time so that you can help us at this time. Help this world to 
understand why things occur as they do. Allow the world to see you and to receive a message of salvation. Oh, Father, we come praying for, uh, uh, we come praying for those who have contracted this uh, virus. Father, we pray that you will heal their body, touch their bodies, Father, so that so that they may be healed, Father, so that they may gain all the strength that they need to. Uh, make it and to live a normal life. Father, we pray for those who lost loved ones to this, uh, to this disease. Father, Father, we ask that you comfort them in the only way you know how to comfort them. You the only one knows what's on their mind and how to truly comfort them because, Father, we recognize it's not easy losing a loved one. It hurts, and sometimes that hurts. Sometimes don't go away, Father. So, Father, we just pray that you be with each uh, one that have lost a loved one, Father. Allow them to know that you are a great God, God of this universe, who, 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 who made it all. And since you made it all, Father, you know the secrets and and not just the secrets of this universe, but the secrets of all of our hearts. Oh, Father, we come praying for uh, the, 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 the political world at this time. Father, we pray that you will uh, be with those that are in leadership. Father, help them to do the right things, make the right decisions, keep help them to keep the citizens in their hearts, uh, not uh, not themselves, not the election, not the numbers, but the citizens and each and every one of us. Oh, Father, we come praying for the body of Christ, the church of Christ. Father, we pray that we make it through what's going on in this world today. Father, we ask that you uh, uh, hold us tightly in the palm of your hands. Just, Father, wrap your loving arms around the body of Christ at this time so that we can make it through the pandemic that we are going through at this time. Father, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of us. Help our minds. Help our hearts. Help our souls. Help us, Father, so that we can continue on looking up to you through all of this, what we're going through. Help us, Father, keep on looking up to you as I shepherd and as I anchor through some rough, rough storms and rough, rough, rough waters. Father, just keep our anch- keep us anchored down in your word and in uh, your son. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program here, Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep chatting about the word from the word. Help us to be a light in this community that we are heard in. Oh, Father, we come praying for the message on our hearts today, warring or warfare of the mind. Help us to present it in a way that may call someone to come crying, what must I do? For salvation. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. Again, we want to thank you for praying along with us in that prayer. We pray that we, we hope that we prayed for something that was on your minds. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back. After these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We're glad to be back. We're glad to be with you on today. And we hope that you feel the same. We hope that we have put a snap in your Christian walk. In other words, we hope that we have brought joy to your world today. And to allow you to allow Jesus to be the, a big part of your day. All right? This is what our hopes are reason why we brought this fine program on the air so that you as a child of God can put God first and foremost 
in your hearts and in your minds and get your mind off of the negative and put it on Jesus our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. That is why, Brother Oscar, hope that you are listening to the program here, Chatting from the Word. Now, you all that's listening, if you truly love this program that Brother Oscar is putting on, they call Brother Oscar Love You Also. Share it with your friends. Share it with your loved ones. Share it with uh, those that uh, you know the need to hear a program like this one, all right? Let them know that Chatting from the Word is on at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and it's a beautiful, beautiful program and teaching the way of the truth. So, uh, tell your friends about this wonderful, wonderful program, and if you're listening to us, like us here, like us here on Chatting from the Word, not just like us, but be a part of us by joining us by subscribing to us by liking us and when you do that the network will contact you and let you know when we are having a program or when we are broadcasting so that you won't miss none of the broadcast that we are broadcasting all right And if you want to help Brother Oscar financially, that would be fine. I'd be happy that you do help us because sometimes everything costs money and sometimes these bills get Brother Oscar uh, overwhelmed sometimes. So if you want to help Brother Oscar out of here to bring this program on the air, you're welcome to do that. I do have an account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage and once the PayPal webpage comes up, Put in my email address, which again is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, and you can put in any amount you desire. Any amount, even if it's a dollar, uh, that would be fine. So do that, do that today. And if you ever want to talk with your brother, of course, you can email me. You can message me. And if you message me, the messenger will put it on my email to let me know I do have a message from you because I love every one of you and if you have message brother Oscar and I see the message uh, I would message you back if all possible because brother Oscar love every one of you and he enjoyed bringing this program to your hearing and to the air so that you can hear how beautiful our Lord uh, really it really is. And of course, you can leave a line or two on our webpage. We do have a webpage. Our webpage address is OscarYorkPublishing.com. But while you're on my webpage, we do have a bookstore. I have authored two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which fell for 2150. And our second book, which is Bridges of Friendship, which also sell for 2150. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. Now, Brother Oscar not saying you, you, you must purchase both books. You can purchase either book. And that's only 21 50. So visit OscarPublishing.com and order your book and read. You know Brother Oscar motto, when you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. <laughs> yes, it does. It comes power. So visit OscarPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Amen, amen, amen. We are so delighted to be with you on today. We are so delighted that you are listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. Now in that network that we come on is Paul Player Net. Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Spherica, Twitter, 
Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play or App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it, download Look Us Up, chatting from the world, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favor so that when 2 o'clock come Mondays to Fridays and Saturday evenings at 7, you be ready to listen to us and so that we can have a fine and glorious time together praising the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. The music that we play here on Chatting from the Word, we do not own the copyrights of none of them. But what we want to suggest that you do is to support these fine artists that we are playing here on Chatting from the Word. The key word is support, support, support. Go buy the CDs, go hear them in concert, and let them know that you heard that music here on Chatting from the Word. Amen, amen, and amen. Now, it is time for our next selection. And we love this brother here. He is a, he's from Houston. I'm from Houston also. And I believe when uh, Frank Melton wouldn't remember me because I think he was, a, uh, uh, when I was in Houston, he probably was a, a young man. And, but I know his sister, I means his uh, uh, sister, we went to Southwestern together. So Frank, if you listen uh, uh, to this song, we appreciate your brother, we appreciate your talent, and keep on singing and leading them beautiful songs. So here's Frank Melton the third. You brought me. You brought me. And here we go.
Hey man, hey man, hey man, we love that. Frank Melton the third, you brought me. And the Lord definitely have brought us all from a mighty, mighty long way. Some of us, we all want to recognize how good the Lord has been to us. But if it wouldn't have been for the Lord, I wonder, where would we be today? Amen. Thank you, Frank. You brought me from a mighty long way. You brought me. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we're back, and we're glad to be back with you. And we hope that you've been enjoying the program up to this point. It is time for our message. Go and get your Bibles if you have not gotten them. And turn with Brother Oscar to Romans, I believe, the seventh chapter, verses 11 through 25. And now, if you was with us on yesterday, we talked about uh, why Paul is basically uh, mentioning or uh, talking about the, uh, the law. And in this in the book of Romans, as you know, he talks about the law. And we said the reason for that is because Christ had just died. The new way or the New Testament was just becoming in focus. Everything was not put together. They didn't have the, uh, the, the complete uh, word of God like we have today. Uh, they didn't have uh, the Old Testament along with the New Testament. They only had the old teaching. So the only thing that Paul could teach them from was from the old teachings, but this time by adding Jesus Christ because he, Christ died on the cross, which opened a, a, a new way and a better way. Basically, it opened the door for grace, it opened the door for mercy, and it opened the door for forgiveness. So it's in the New Testament, the new agreement, the, the new, if I may use this term, the new contract is where we have forgiveness because Paul said none of us are perfect. We are only made perfect in and through Jesus Christ. I hope you all understand that. We're not perfect on our own. Ain't no way we could be. And this is where Paul is coming from here. He mentioned the fact of the law. He said, he, he starts off by 11, say, for sin taken occasion by the commandment, deceive me and by it slew me. He said, the commandment slew me. And the reason why he says that, because it was through the commandment, through the laws that Moses received on Mount Sinai that we learned what sin was. And here, what Paul is truly saying, through the law, we recognize sin. See, before the law, sin was not even recognized, okay? And he says, in verse 13, now this is verse 12, Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, just and good. Of course it is. Of course, no doubt. Because whatever God says is good. God was the one who gave Moses the law on Mount Sinai. God, with his finger, wrote the commandments. God did this. It is holy. It is good. Okay? And then Paul said, Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin that might appear sin working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, so under sin. Here Paul recognized that he is carnal. Paul here is talking in a singular sense. He's talking to himself. But at the same time, he's using himself to show the, the, the Christians at Rome that anyone or any one of us 
can falter and fall by the wayside. Even Paul, and Paul goes on, if you keep reading uh, it, Paul said, and let's begin with verse 15, for what, for that which I do, I law not. For what I would that do, I not. But what I hate, that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. But now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. See, Paul here recognized the fact that he is carnal mind. And all of us today are carnal mind. All of us today, we, 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 we lean on uh, the, 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 the flesh before we lean on the spiritual. I know you all seen this cartoon. Cartoons. <laughs> You know, all things a certain cartoon that come on where a guy he's thinking about should he do this or should he do that. And on one shoulder they show an angel, supposed to be an angel, uh, in his image, and the other one show uh, a demon or Satan or whatever in his image. And, and the, the one that, that that's showing the, the devil said, No oh, man, you got to do this now. Go on, do it, man. You can do it. You can do it. Go ahead and do it. Well, 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 the angel on the good side, no, no, that's not good. Don't do it. And if they have him saying in such a timid way, don't do it. Whereas Satan, is, uh, the one on, on Satan's side is, is bringing up all the ways he should do it and how he should do it. Isn't that the way Satan works sometimes? He works like that in us today. When we are trying to do what is right. Satan will present sin to us and make it look good. Make it look good. Some of us, uh, we don't even recognize when Satan has presented to us sin because we are so much caught up in the carnal mind, as Paul is saying here. And some of us are so caught up in the carnal mind, we can't even see Jesus Christ's grace and mercy. And that is the the hard part about it. Even we are in the body of Christ. We falter by the wayside because we stop leaning and holding tight on Jesus' hand and remembering how beautiful Jesus really is. That is the reason why I brought this program. So that you, uh, so you the listener, can, can have a little joy in your life. And so that we can present Jesus to you. And so that you can keep Jesus in the forefront of your life. Oh, my friends, sometimes the world, if you have somebody who loves the Lord and always talk about Jesus, they may call me crazy. But I'm like this. I love the Lord and I put him first regardless of what the world may say. Because I try my best to live for him. Brother Oscar's not perfect, but the catch is we must recognize that the flesh is powerful, that Satan is powerful, and the way we can win the war is to allow Jesus to be the forefront, the foremost in our lives. Allow the spiritual to come in. Us. And here Paul saying that, let, let's go up to verse 16. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now, that, now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Paul said, I recognize sin dwells in me. And by sin dwelling in me, it makes it hard sometimes. And then he goes on to say in verse 18, For I know that in me, that is in the flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. And he is telling the truth about that sometimes. As we just said, Satan will present the bad to you. 
And sometimes if we lean towards that bad instead of leaning toward Jesus Christ, that bad will seem so good that we don't even much recognize that we're doing what's wrong. And that's what's wrong with the world today. We we don't recognize we don't recognize sin until finish, sin is finished. Which Paul said leads for death. We're going to leave you with that thought today. We're going to finish this lesson up on maybe Thursday. If you uh, come back on Thursday and you listen to the message. And of course the message is warring of warfare of the mind. And I believe on the next uh, installment of this lesson, we will be talking about the mind and and what the mind is all about. So join us on Thursday and uh, with the lesson for the lesson. But be with us tomorrow. Tomorrow is music time once again. On tomorrow, we're gonna be playing all your acapella hits. And the reason why we call them hits because you heard it here on chatting from. The word. We must say our goodbyes. We hate to say our goodbyes, but we must. And we hope all have a wonderful day. Be careful out there. Uh, be, uh, as the government said, distance yourself because you don't want to. And they say by six feet because you don't want to contract this coronavirus. So just, we hope everybody stays safe and be careful. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, be thy name. Father, we thank you for the time we had to spend with each of our listeners. We pray, Father, for those that are contracted the coronavirus. Father, we pray that you heal your, their bodies. We pray, Father, for those that have lost loved ones. Father, again, we pray that you comfort them in a way you know how to comfort them. Father, we come praying for each of, again for each of our listeners. We hope and pray they have a good and wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and sleep tight. Father, we pray, Father, that you be with each and every one of us, one of them. Oh, Father, help us to keep this fine program on the air, chatting from the Word. Keep us chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting a snap in the Christian walk. Now, Father, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today. From chatting uh, from the Word. We hope all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>